In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 8, Section 4, Calc and Permitted, Questions 29 and 30. The last two problem-solving questions, we know these will be difficult before the grid and start at 31. All right, let's take a look at 29. A photocopy machine is initially loaded with 5,000 sheets of paper. The machine starts a large job and copies at a constant rate. After 20 minutes, it is used 30% of the paper. Which of the following equations models the number of sheets of paper P remaining in the machine and minutes after the machine started printing. All right, so it starts with 5,000 and it copies at a constant rate. This is really key, constant rate. You always wanna ask yourself, is this linear, the equation we have to form, or is it exponential? Constant rate we know is linear. So we want an equation for the number of sheets of paper P and minutes after it started. If it's constant, it's linear. If you look at the choices, we know it has to be A or B. These are both exponential. And so again, if you're running out of time, at least take an educated guess. I'm not recommending that, but you narrow it down to two right away. So how do we figure out what, we know 5,000 is the starting, we wanna subtract M, and this is really the, the rate per minute. So if we can figure out the rate per minute, then we can decide whether it's A or B. So we're told after 20 minutes, it's used 30% of the paper. So we can figure out 30% of the paper if we take 5,000 and we multiply by 0.3 and that is 1,500. So we know it's 1,500 in the first 20 minutes. So all we have to do is divide this by 20. If we divide this by 20, you can use your calculator, but it looks to be 75. This is number of minutes or um, the, the number of sheets per minute. And so once we figure out this is 75 per minute, to figure out how many sheets of paper P and minutes, all we're gonna do is take 5,000 minus that rate per minute. And the answer here is B. So I don't think it's that difficult of a question. And like I said, recognizing it's linear. And if you look at the choices, you should be able to determine we need to figure out what that rate per minute is. And then we subtract from the starting amount, 5,000. All right, let's take a look at question number 30. The complete graph of a function f and table the values for functions g are shown above. The maximum value of f is k, what is g of k? So here's the function y equals f of x. The maximum value of, of the function is k. Remember, the maximum value is always the y value, right? The function f of x right, equals y, that's a horizontal line, the highest point is right here. And so the highest point, the maximum value of the function equals three. So we know that the maximum value of function is three, so we know that k equals three. Now we're gonna use the table and we wanna find g of k. You wanna be careful here, remember our k is three and that's the x, right? Y equals f of x and this is g of x and so think about our x is three. So for x, this is the left column. We're gonna look to see the value of three. And then what's the value of the function? It is six. And the answer here is B.